One day after a partial building collapse left Anthony Wright dead, family members were allowed into his first floor Garfield Park apartment to retrieve what they could of his belongings. While at the same time, the building's department remains on site, securing the structure. The fire department was also called in again late this morning. I lost my words. I, mean, I really I, I can't make no sense of this. I, I, can't, I, I, I can't wrap my hands around it because it's crazy. Two others were injured in the collapse, including a 68-year-old man and Wright's son, 32-year-old Anthony Jr. Relatives tell us the three men were sitting on the porch when they were trapped under a crush of rubble that fell from the structure's third floor, which they say was being renovated by the building's owner, another relative. This is a hard pill to swallow. Can you? I don't know. According to city records, the building has failed two inspections, including one in 2015. Mayor Lori Lightfoot today saying the city needs to find ways to help homeowners who may have fallen on difficult times to maintain their properties and keep them safe. The building inspectors have gone through it. They've determined that the supports that are necessary, the bones, as the folks in the building trades would call it, have just deteriorated to a point of probably not being able to be salvaged. Wright's wife, who did not want to go on camera, was adamant today that what happened was, in quote, a freak accident, saying that her cousin, who is the owner, did everything she could to keep the building up. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.